further and welcome back my goodness have i got some news to tell you we have already been busy for these brand new items that we're bringing to you from john next door and talking of which is here john and he's Hello. next door Hello. <laughs> you're literally next I door i am next door yeah through the window through the rectangular window <laughs> That's it, yeah. now i have to say 20 percent of the stock of this has gone already right. now i know you've been promoting this on social media people getting involved so early now this is something that you need to explain to us because this yeah. is the first time i think i've seen limited edition from you this is this is our second limited okay, edition collection right, fair enough. the last one was back in january it's not a monthly thing or a club thing or anything like that just as and when it's an as and when okay and what we do is um basically it's a chance we do a limited run okay so all the stock has been ordered all the stock that we have is allocated to you so I can't go shopping no, and comparing no, and yeah, things? Yeah, you've got okay, everything. Right. Yeah. So you've got the whole stock, and we put it together as a sort of like a kit, but it's, as I say, it's a limited edition. Right. And you can see on the dies there, they say limited edition. And what that means is we make a commitment that we will not reorder these dies. OK. We won't reorder the, set them in. We won't yeah. get them back in. You won't see them in three months' time again. OK. As with the first one we did, which was the Mandala, mm -hmm. um, and Sam Blessing is still getting four or five people a week asking him where, yeah. he can get it, where they can get it from. Yeah. It has finished. So what we've done is this is your limited edition. Mm -hmm. When it's gone, it's gone and you've got the stock. So <laughs> it could be here for three months. It yep. could be here for three minutes or anything in between those two <laughs> parameters. But when it's gone, it has gone. And you can see why we're busy already. I mean, this is brilliant. And I love the idea of you saying it's like a kit because you've got everything it that you is. need you, in there. You've got everything you need. Realistically, to me, if you want to get started into die cutting and you want to get started into your card making, you've got everything in here matched together. So you've got a main die, mm -hmm. which will do lots of different things, which is what I'm going to show you through the shows. OK. But you've also got a flower. Yes. And you've got the foliage. Yeah. So you've also got the backing papers, which are designed by me and printed for us in the UK. Beautiful. Part of the limited kit. We've even included matching coloured sort of rhinestones for you. Yes. In there. So all you need to add to this is perhaps some sentiment stamps or dies if you want to do them sentimented and some blank cards or a bit of card. That's it. So it's everything all in one. And we wanted, I've always wanted to do it that there's, there's a range that people can get and they can get a full range and it's affordable. And yeah, and that's it. And you only look at the card here, who's done this one, Julie. I mean, this is it hit the nail on the head. Your backdrop there is the die that's been used for the main focal point. Your gorgeous little kind of elements of leaves. Again, the die that corresponds that creates this backdrop with the star. And of course, those beautiful flowers. So everything really does work together. And it's beautiful because whether you're creating cards or projects like this, is this one yeah. to take the lid off on? I, I think that's a safe one. It's the next blue oh, one. Oh, is it next one? That, that's going to drop on you. OK, so it's this one. If I bring yeah. this one, I mean, I mean, it's beautiful as a box. I look at that as a gift box. That's the kind of gift box that when you receive a gift, you keep the box afterwards to put it something is. Yeah. in. It makes me think of Box of Delights, which yes. was like a kid's show when yeah. I was a kid. It's yeah. got that, that jewel tone look to it. But everything on this box, made by Leslie, oh, including wow. the tree in the look middle, the tree. every layer is made with this kit. Oh, Leslie, that yeah. is beautiful. All Leslie has used on this. She has used, to be fair, some square dies, but you don't need those. OK. Because you could trim squares to size. But the stars, the flowers, the stars in there, the tree, the outside, all she's added to this is some white and some blue card. Beautiful. All comes together. My goodness, we are so, so busy. Lots of you getting involved with these. Don't forget, you can't get them anywhere else. You may be a follower of John um, and the brand and crafts too and everything, but this is the only place you can get hold of these. Um, and a quarter of the stock has gone already. My goodness. OK, so if you're wanting yours, let me give you those details. We need to get into demonstration as soon as we possibly can. It's the second in the lib limited edition range. I don't know why I say it's the range, because the first one's gone and, got, gone and dusted. <laughs> yes. We're never going to see it again. So this this is the current one and it is current for as long as we have stock of them. You're not going to see these coming on extended delivery. It's not going to be the case that we sell out of these and we'll say, well, fortunately, we can get more, but we've got to add on that delay because they need creating. They've all been made, they've all been batched up, they're all in boxes or bags or whatever, ready to go, but they need to be ordered quickly. They are literally flying out. 766933, if you've not got it in your basket already, I would certainly encourage you to do so as soon as you possibly can, because when you see this in action, I mean, I've shown you a few finished samples there, just shows you how amazing it is. Now, if you jump onto the website, anything else you want to add in alongside, you can do. Revisiting lots of things that we do see from uh, John and Crafts too as well, um, and these are brilliant. 
here. Of course, we recently saw new additions to the petal, pe um, petal inks. So if you want to know, you can pop them into your basket. Products are like the fabulous little desk vacuums. Um, pink, blue. Love it. It's like a pink toothbrush and a blue toothbrush. But they're not. They're vacuums. Um, five star reviews with those. If you need your adhesives, you can't go far wrong with the um, Craft Artist glue there, as you can see. And then your tools, if you're just getting started, it's a brilliant range to add to your, ra um, your range of tools because they are going to make it so easy. Just to warn you, if you're looking at placing your order on the phone, as we kind of expected, those queues are starting to form. So if you're wanting to get hold of yours, and don't forget, it's limited with regards to the quantity that we can bring these, then jump onto the website. But we will get to you as soon as we can on the phone lines. Just bear with us on that one. John, um, over to you. The right. dies. Tell us about the dies. Right. Well, what we've done is this box collection is called... Because the first one I launched was a sort of trial. It gives okay. me a chance. There's a selfish bit in here. Okay. It gives me a chance to try out ideas in a smaller run, see if people like them. Oh, that's OK. So yeah. for this second one, I've called it Sam's Choice. Mm -hmm. Because I said to Sam, what would you like to see in a smaller run? And he said, I'd like to see some you know ideas that perhaps you've done in the past come back and he mm -hmm. went his favorite die i did was one called sam stars nice obviously <laughs> because it was called sam stars I love which has repeatedly sold out and is now finished okay so what i've done is this is like this is the same idea but a totally different die mm -hmm. so you've got this this mini sam stars so the star in the middle and then you've got all of these hand-drawn leaves coming out from it radiating out but you also get all the nesting stars oh, to wow. fit inside and I've made these really, that really fine. Clever. So you've almost, to me, it goes um, sort of multi, you know, unisex or a ladies' card. Yes, yeah. yeah. Stick a flower in. As soon as we go to the stars, there's your men's cards yeah, done. Yeah. Sorted in one set. Beautiful. And he said the most popular flower I did was a cornflower. Okay. And he said, what about doing a smaller version redraw? Yeah. So we did a smaller mini cornflower. Love it. So on the plate, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get ten. But there's not many, there's a lot there, ten. No, oh yeah, there's ten flowers. <laughs> and again, then they're, they're not of a small size. We're not talking, you know, like the little punch flowers. Yes, oh yes. And then these are the hand-drawn leaves. And these this sort of leaf shape was one I used in my very first release. Yeah. Um, and again, completely sold out and people were still asking for it. Some said, why don't you redraw and do a mini version? So this is a redrawn mini version of those. Love so it. you've got everything you need all together because they all work and they mix I love and it. match. Absolutely brilliant. But I then did. Sorry, no, yeah, I'm supposed to be demoing, but I'm there. so excited about this collection. <laughs> I did the papers, and the papers I've had printed for me here in the UK, and basically what you've got is, you've got a lemon, you've got a beautiful green, and you've got a blue, of course. Gorgeous. And you've got a check and a stripe that match exactly, and two mm -hmm. sheets of each. Lovely. And it's on really nice, I think That's it's 100 and, yeah. 120 GSM, it's beautifully printed. It's got a lovely finish to it. It really, really has. We've, I've got a really good friend of mine to print it for me, who I trust well, implicitly. Yeah. And the great thing They've is, because a it's a cream job. background, grand job. Um, um, she's actually printed it on cream. Oh, nice. So you don't get Ooh, that. You know when we print, print. print papers at home, we print on white? Yes. And I don't mean this horribly, sometimes they can look a little stark. Yeah. Which is a polite word for that and, C word. Yeah, and also as well, sometimes when you print it itself, you don't get the finish because it's having the right paper to print on. And obviously, the knowledge of knowing which paper is right, because you can get a lot of kind of hits before... Uh, sorry, lots of misses before you get hits with these. Very, very quickly, 40% of the stock has gone. Right, now. oh, right, OK. That's my nice way of saying get a jog on, John. In other words, yeah, yeah, stop <laughs> talking, John, and do some work, because I've got loads of demos done. <laughs> Hayley, you know me well enough to say, John, shut up. <laughs> right, so what I've got is... The first one I want to show you, I'm going to steal it while Haley's not looking. OK. I've stolen this idea from one of our angels, who is called Maxine Payne. Lovely. She came up with this that's diamond fabulous. point card. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. Um, and as with anything that's made by me or the angels, mm -hmm. please feel free to make your own version, okay. copy it. If you want to do classes on it, do classes on it. Oh, lovely. You have bought the products, do what you want. Oh, that's That's what generous. it's there for. Thank you. So she very kindly said I could demo this, but this uses nothing but the kit oh, and wow. craft card, yeah? Things that we've already got. Things you've already yeah. got. So you actually need sort of two sheets of card, really, and that's Lovely. it. So what I've done already is I've cut a piece of A4 card down, mm -hmm. yeah, to basically five and three quarters. I've made a five and three quarter inch card blank. OK, so yeah? we'll fit just inside so a six 11 inch. and a half inches by five yeah. and three quarters folded in half. 
that's it. Lovely. Yeah. You could do this at any size. And what you actually need to do is we need to find the centre point. OK. Now, you could try and fold it, mm -hmm. but it's a pain. OK. So what I do is I've taken a piece of card that's five and three quarter inches, okay. folded it in half and cut it in half. Yes. To give yeah. me a little template. Yeah, I do that, yeah. And then all I need to do, and I'm doing this on the inside back, mm -hmm. so you can see, because I do pencil at home, is put a little mark down, mm -hmm. yeah? Right, so that's the centre point of our card. You can just see that. It's so dark here, but it doesn't yeah, show no, as well. Yeah, no, can see it, yeah. And then all I'm going to use is a guillotine, nothing right. else in this okay. card cutting machine. This is a handy little guillotine. It's a nice this size. Is, it's cracking, this. It's perfect size, eight and a half inch cut there. Mm -hmm. Goes up to measurement six and a quarter. Okay. Six and an eighth, sorry. But it's self-sharpening. Oh, right, OK. If you listen. Oh, that's a good sound. This metal bar here isn't just a protective bar, it's actually a steel. Oh, so like a steel you know, like for your a steel kitchen, that knives. You have your kitchen yeah. knives. So every time you cut it, it doesn't get gunked up with glue and things. It's brilliant. So all I'm going to do is look, put in my point at the top. Okay, yeah. yeah. And put in my edge at the bottom against yeah. it. Yeah. So on that cutting edge. So on that cutting edge. Right. And if you're off a bit, don't worry, cut. Yeah. Well, that's a good sign. And then turn it round and do the other side. That's and a I love good this solid oh, little guillotine. I've it got is. one here. We I've actually, got yeah, Paula had before. one, and she just went, "Oh gosh, this is brilliant! It's I've not so seen solid." These up close, but it's got everything. I mean, it's a, a really good size. I mean, transportation-wise, and when I say transportation, I know classes, workshops, will get into the swing of those. But I'm talking about bringing it from your upstairs craft room down yeah. to the lounge where you want to be doing crafting. I'm not talking about going in the car and off somewhere, because sometimes, if you like me. And I'm going to admit it, I'm lazy. If it's coming down with me, it's all coming in one go. Oh, yeah. I'm not up and down the stairs. So I don't want to be bringing huge um, things with me. It's just a case of I want to bring what I need, carry it down in one go. If I have to go back up the stairs, I get very cross with myself. So, yeah, this is something that is brilliant. But it's the way that I love that with that sharpening, as you heard, um, heard John say. Got your finger protector there as well. So somewhere that you can slide your papers under. And it's a really generous width. Again, yeah. I've come across these where you've not got as much space there. And it's always very, very nerving when you're actually cutting down. It is. You've, yeah. you, you're hot. you've got far wider than mine. Yeah. I've got an old 12 by 12, which is nearly dead at home, mm -hmm. guillotine. I had to import it from America. Oh, wow. Um, and the actual guard on it is half this size. Yeah. yeah. And I don't feel safe with it. Yeah. This, I do. And something else as well, you've got the good rubber feet on there as well. So if you are pressing down, oh, it's yeah. not scooting it's, across it, your table. It's not moving at yeah. all. It's great. Love it. It's more like you mat to be moving than this guillotine <laughs> to be fair and a little hangy uppy hole as well which i always like um eight and eight and a half inches as well good cut size with that one and at 19.99 very affordable right so now i'm going to take two pieces of the matching paper from the pack okay yep yeah. so i did five and three quarters so i'm going to go five and a half of the stripe i just love the sound feels like you know when you used to play supermarkets like the bacon slice yes. stuff you know <laughs> It's got it's that got thing. Sound, so yeah. a five and a half inch square of the stripe. Lovely. And a five and a half inch square of the check. If you are metric, this actually works in metric. All oh, right, okay. So you would just fold a piece of A4 in calf and make it a card. Yes. And your measurement here would be 14 centimetres as opposed to five okay. and a half inches. Love it. But since I started card making, I've always done everything in yeah. inches. So we've got those. So you just decide which one on the front. And I'm going to go. Check on the front, stripe inside. OK, fair enough. So all I need to do now, and this is thin enough, mm -hmm. I just fold on one edge. So I need the halfway point again. Got you, yeah. So if you're technical, you could measure it, but mm -hmm. I'm not. Yeah. And all I do, and this is so clever, this will fit those triangles. Oh, right. Because I made it a quarter inch smaller. Of course, yes. So put it on that notch again. All right, again. This is why you edge. said, you know, the guard is so useful, because... Yeah. And you you've know, got the upright guard there as well. I'm nowhere, yeah. Yeah. I'm nowhere near that blade. Same on the other side. OK, let's just get it into place. Just like that. So that is my pieces cut. Brilliant. Right. 
Um, incidentally, that guillotine, lots of you adding them into your basket. If you, like me, it's the first time that you've seen it, then certainly do take advantage of it. Um, is that 10% of the stock? My goodness, busy, busy, busy. $24.99 um, with regards to that one. So perhaps pop it in alongside your bundle, because it could be that you're wanting to recreate the card that John's creating here, and you're new to card making, where you can literally put everything that you need in your basket together. You can even add in your glue as well, which we have got, and of course, John's going to be working with that one. It's a craft artist glue as well. Um, and this is a brilliant adhesive that you can use in so many different scenarios. Perfect for your cardstock, perfect for all your different styles of card that you're working with, and some br brilliant applicator um, kind of techniques with those. Because you always you've got that like kind of sponge tab, haven't you? On the you the have. Tube. I'm going to be using that for the flowers. The, the glue glaze makes it so easy. Okay. But this is the important thing about papers as well, because Haley and I we were having this discussion earlier. We were having um, enough, All yeah. papers are not the same. They're not. No. The the if you look that I've put wet glue and I put a little bit of water in my craft artist glue. <laughs> Okay. to make it flow in the bottle well. Mm -hmm. um, but can you see, this is not warped, this no paper. no crinkling at all. At all. And I've used wet glue everywhere, and I'm not even seeing a glue line. Yeah. And that, to me, is important when you're buying yeah. papers. It's quality. So there's my front. I then put, but can you see you get a border? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. If I slide that in, you'll see. Just a little tad. Oh, You've got a border. Good. It's so so clever. I've got. I'm so grateful to Maxine for letting me demo her card. I mean, yeah, as we say, you know, always use whatever you want, and just if mm -hmm. you know who's done it, credit it. That's if it, you yeah. don't, just say I don't know who's done but it. But you know what this set? I, it strikes me as being what I would call a mojo buster as well. So yeah. on those days when you, you're wanting to do something, you feel the need that you need to do some crafting, but you really, you might not be in the mood to come up with anything creative. You need a bit of help. Then this is the way to do it because you've got everything: the papers, the dies, and all of those dies work well together. So you haven't got to really think about that it. Happened. Well, this show has been pulled forward. OK. This show was due on the 23rd, and today was supposed to be the Kaleido. Right, OK. So we right. have swapped the shows, okay. and we swapped the shows because there's a new product to go with the Kaleido that wasn't going to be in, and we don't want... Crafts 2, we don't want to have long extended deliveries. Right. We have done it, and it causes as many problems as it does customers. Yes, yeah. So we said, rather than do that, we pulled it forward. The reason we could was because about a week or two ago, I lost my mojo. Yeah, all right. Um, so what I did was I went on to prepping this. Yeah. And this literally snapped me out of it. Yeah. So uh, two days ago, yeah. when I was told by Peter that we, there might be a problem with the Kaleido show, I went, it's OK, because I've yeah. got the limited edition one prepped yeah. early. So it yeah. does work as that, because it works it for is, me. Because, I mean, many of us build up our stashes of dyes and papers and, and different bits and pieces. And sometimes it, it's a case of you almost can't see the wood for the trees sometimes, can no, you? No, you can't. And it's remembering what you've got, what, what will come together. But I think if you store these together, just as they are in their little envelopes, keep them all together, obviously they can work with other things in your stash. But if you are looking for literally, I don't know, you've only got half an hour or you just need something to kind of jumpstart your creativity then you have got everything in here because you've got those gorgeous papers you've got the fabulous dies which you're going to use in so many different ways and then to finish things off you've got those fabulous little gems i mean the thing is if you've got something like this it's how i store mine you can keep everything and if you look there. on the side it says sam's choice limited edition <laughs> you've got even little you cut out there <laughs> yeah but i put everything together yeah Keep yeah. it together as a it's set. It's just there on your bookshelf. And the then, thing yeah. is, we don't do it. We don't supply it to you in one of those boxes because that will add money on. Yeah. That will, yeah. We don't we've supply it in got, a box. We've all got things like that. Because it just makes it more expensive. But even if it's just going, if you're limited on space, see, this is the other thing. Sometimes you might not even have the luxury of a craft room. It might be just that you've got a cupboard or a drawer or something like that. Or those little plastic drawers that we all get started with. With these, you can pop them into like a, almost like an A4 binder yep. in one of those poly pockets, put yep. your papers in there. Um, even potentially um, use these little kind of clasps at the top there with the ring binder or, or somehow or even punch the packaging. In, just be careful of the dyes and keep it all together that way. Yeah, and it's, it's, it is actually a really good point. It's a really good sort of yeah, mojo buster. Yeah. Sorry, so here I've on. got striped and the check. Like. Yeah, and I've got my two panels. And again, look, they've got the nice border all the way around them with no measuring. Yeah, no fancy Absolutely. skill. This yeah. is just such a brilliant card. And all I want now is those to cross, isn't it? Oh, OK. So all I do, I put a little bit of glue and I'm using a wet glue and I would suggest a wet glue for this. Right. Because you want to move it round slightly. Okay. So I put one on each side. So is this the glue that we've got in the bundle? It is. The this glaze? is the craft okay. artist. This is the. This is just the normal uh, um, our acrylic glue, the craft artist glue that's in and the pack. And you popped some of it into a fine detail I bottle. I popped some into one of our fine okay. detail bottles. Um, and then all you do is put one that way. 
and look, watch. Hang on, get it right way, John. Match there. Very clever, yeah. There. And the top. You can see why I said wet glue. And it's the perfect angle, uh, the same as the centre yeah. one. Yeah. There. There. Move it around until I've got that point, that point, and that point, and glue that down. And then you've got... That looks brilliant. ...your diamond point card. But if you see, I got glue on that card. Yeah. But it was the craft artist glue. Look. You can't see yeah, it. It just wipes off the all, papers. Yeah. And again, shows the quality of the glue in the paper. But that's your Beautiful. basic diamond point it. card. Very, very clever, very effective. Um, and I think you'll use that concept with so many. It reminds me, you know, like the, the real 70s rock guitars that were all very geometrical? Oh, it does. It just reminded me, looking at it there, I was thinking it looked amazing in kind of black, red and black and, and maybe silver tones as well, but beautiful in the cardstock. It really was. Carry on then. What so, have what have I done next is I've cut a square of. So, as I said, I've got I've used craft card. Okay. I've used the packs for the paper and I've used a little bit of a green. And this, mm -hmm. this is a crafts two linen green, but again, any green card you've got. Does or do well, it with though. just the craft okay. or just the striped paper. You know, I don't want you to have to think you've got to add lots on. So this is cut to three and three quarters. Okay. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is literally put down the star die, but I'm not putting any centre in it. Okay. Okay. So I just tape that down and we just run that through. See, this is a die. I mean, it's looking brilliant with this kind of very natural theme, with your, your natural kind of from your, your craft card and your greens um, and those gorgeous kind of muted jellos. But I could imagine this in a glittery cardstock come Christmas time. It's, it would yeah. look amazing I mean, as a the, the Christmas one you picked card. up earlier with the white and the blue yes, and the silver yeah. mirror card just works so, yeah. so well. Well, this is it. I mean, obviously, this one isn't... Well, it could be Christmas, to be honest, because it just says with love on there. But, uh, yeah, uh, that sparkle. And, again, the dies will actually cut out the sparkle from your glitter card. Now, have they got kind of like a score line down the centre of those leaves? What they've got is... No, I'll show you how we do that. Oh, OK, fair we'll enough. I'll show you then. in another demo how we actually it, yeah. do that. It's really, really simple because of the size of the leaf. So you can see, I've just flicked out most of the bits. OK. But you see, they fall out really easy because the, the craft card I'm using actually is a 320 GSM with a, like a plastic back. Yeah, yeah, and um, it can be quite fibrous, can't it? So it doesn't kind of, it releases it, it cuts it, but they just kind of hold, it's like, um, like a, a magic. <laughs> a it magic is, hold. to be honest, it really <laughs> is. But you can see when I do this just how, let's get that bit out, shall we? How it's put together, how I've designed it, because you can see there, if I hold it up, you can oh, see. Oh, that's so pretty. You've and got the kind of same radiate. sort of sparkle of leaves yeah. holding the star like a filigree star yeah. in the middle. And they come from the centre outwards yes. as well. Yes, so that nice, each yeah. one comes from one of the centre points mm. out. So all we're going to do now is I've taken a piece. So I've used stripe on the back, okay. check on the front. Yeah. I've got to take a piece now of the check, of the stripe, so yeah. that I've go stripe, check, stripe. I've got you, yeah. Just my way of doing it. OK. A little bit of spray glue for speed and just check which one's right. Yes. Onto a little piece of green, but you could skip this. Yeah. Yeah. And then get your stripe down, but you put that over the top and again, it just looks Aww. so different. Yeah. You're sort of losing that star. So that again, and this is unusual for me, there's no foam tape on this card. Oh, yeah. Fair point, yeah. I, I very rarely make a card without foam tape, but I don't need it. The, yeah. the drama is in the card yes, itself. that's true. So, we just pop that on the front, but you see how the points echo the points of the star. Yeah. It just works so well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to decorate it, but do you want to run through things a minute while I just get my card I ready? I can do if you want to. I'm just working with... The finished samples that we've got here are so amazing. But, um, yeah, it's the dies that we're talking about, the obviously papers, and, of course, the gems as well, which, of course, are going to be that finishing touch, aren't they? Um, but um, you're getting everything, and it is an exclusive bundle. If you have just joined us, let me explain what we've got here. We have got, and you can see it's exclusive, and that means exclusive to us here at the craft store. It's something that um, John and Crafts 2 have put together for kind of like... Okay, a 
bit of a treat, to be honest, because it's something that you can't get anywhere else. So I know how sometimes we do our comparisons and we might think, oh, I'm going to leave that and I'm going to shop next month and I'm going to get it from wherever. Well, you can't with this. This is something that is only with us. It's limited edition with regards to the quantity. So what that means is once the stock has been exhausted, whether it's in three hours, three days, three months, it doesn't matter. It will not be coming back. So if you think, oh, yeah, it's 24 99 I'm going to wait a few months. I know it'll come down in price. It'll be blah, blah, blah. It won't. It won't. Once it's gone, it's gone. And the way that we are selling these at the moment, it would be fortunate if it lasts 24 hours, to be honest. You are getting your three die sets. Now, these have been put together with the centre star being the main focal point. That's kind of where it started, if you excuse the pun. Um, but within that die, you've got multiple dies. So rather than it just being the square die with the fabulous little star in the middle, you've got you're kind of nesting stars in here. And I think this is really, really clever. I think I might have lost one of them, actually. So um, they will sit inside and they get smaller and smaller and smaller. I think it's fallen because there's a piece of cardstock on, on top of this um, metal sheet. So you will actually get one that sits in between those as well. And they get smaller and smaller. So that means that you can use that main star if you wanted to, or you can mat and layer your smaller stars if you wanted to as well. So that's the beauty of that. Oh, there it is. Bear with. Let me just get that. Bit of warning so you don't see down me, the side of my nose. With me, <laughs> my head shooting it. Oh, I can't pick it up now. There we go. So there you go. That's how it's actually going to come to you there. So you can see there you've got all those different dyes. Then you've got, obviously, your floral aspect coming to you with this dye over here. And this is brilliant. I notice it's got little notches by the side, John. So usually that means that there's a, a stamp it does, to work but with it. There isn't. OK, that's fair enough. Because just, just check it. The original plan was yeah. that I was going to do a stamp to go with it. But that would have made it more expensive. It would have made it more expensive, but what we actually found is I did it, and when I tested it and tested the design, mm -hmm. the flower, it didn't enhance it. OK, fair enough. That's OK. Um, That's all it honest. did was add cost on, yeah. and it didn't make the flower look any prettier. And you weren't happy with it. And I thought, there's, I'm not doing it as a vanity thing. Yeah. You know, there's no point. It's not going to add any value to, to us as crafters, so we, we, we need it, to be I like honest. That. I like that, thinking of us in our pockets. There you go, those flowers, absolutely beautiful, as you can see there. And then, of course, you've got your foliage. Now, your foliage is echoed from the design of the main stamp, so that brings this all together. So you've got the continuity between all of those elements. So that means you've got everything. It's almost like a craft kit together with those dies. Then, of course, you've got your additional elements, which are your papers, those beautiful papers. Again all part of that limited edition element that you've got with regards to those and of course you've got your gems as well so finish sample wise very very quickly because we're going to go back to john but i'm quite conscious of uh, how busy we are and giving you ideas rapidly approaching half the stock as we get into halfway point with regards to the show um it's quite apt that um, half the stock has gone but whether you're working with your your pink florals your pastel tones whether you're going with your stronger tones incorporating other things that you've got other dyes that you've got as well or whether you just want simplicity i love this the cleanliness of that white with the gold backdrop but it doesn't have to be gold it might be that you're wanting to use some of that gorgeous satin cardstock that we see from craft too as well um, you are going to get some absolutely incredible results time and time again and even using them and see this is lovely with the butterfly there as well because sometimes i mean the star is quite a strong shape yes but sometimes you want to soften it down i mean that butterfly in there looks beautiful yeah it, it, you can't see what's behind it it no. just looks like there's a sort of yeah. mandala for the butterfly to go on there yeah. and it's size to fit in with all the dies I've done before and that are coming and, look and at that's that. the idea look at that I love it team you have and that's the beauty of this one because you can do that can't you, you can use it over and over again fabulous if there's you... a fantastic one to your left Ooh, okay in, in pink and gold this one yeah, yeah and it's really funny but if you have a look at it can you tell what the background is cardstock isn't it it's actually the die cut four times in the pattern. Oh, I see. So I thought I was looking at the cardstock. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. She's matched it up. Julie's matched it up perfectly. And then she's cut it four times into the background and put it on. So if you want to make bigger cards, you can. So love all it. that's added to that oh, are some square that. dies. I love that. That's our Barbara. Starry ideas. What a brilliant idea. You see what I mean? That yeah. first card you've got would be perfect Same for a lady. Yeah. Second card, perfect for a man. Same set. Yeah. 
Amazing. Love it. There you go. 24 99 You're getting your three die sets. You're going to get those fabulous gems. Um, and, of course, you are going to get that wonderful paper pack that comes with this as well. But remember, approaching half the stock has gone. Now, obviously, with John's demonstration, he was showing the guillotine. This has been really popular as well. 20% of the stock has gone of this one. It's just such a handy size, as you can see there. You're not trying to cut your smaller pieces of card on a huge guillotine, which I've got a big guillotine at the time and I do use it. But what I often find myself doing is cutting my cardstock down into small manageable size pieces yeah because it's easier to work with that way so this is brilliant and you've got that fabulous kind of self-sharpening um a, a kind of element there you've got your bam, um, bar there which is going to sharpen your blade and a good chunky size there because if you're like me and you've kind of got chunky fingers you need a chunky bar there and that's what you've got 19.99773200 really do like that i think it's brilliant value for money there's loads of other things that you can check out because of course john and crafts too bring us some amazing Thing. So do jump on the website and have a little look, but let's carry on with the right. demo. Okay, so what I've got to do now is I'm going to build up the stars. Okay. Okay. So what I've got is I'm going to rotate it, and this is why there's three stars in there for a reason. Okay. And it's mainly because I do everything in threes, and I think threes work better. Lovely, yeah. So it is thought about. So I'm going to need a star in the green, and that's going to be the largest because that's the outside layer on this card. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm going to need the next star in the brown to bring that in yeah right yeah so i take the next star but if you notice i'm putting them in the middle of a square of card yes and there is a reason for that okay fair enough um and i will i will show you that when i've cut them Ooh, because i am as i said earlier i actually said this to natasha earlier i said i'm cheap and i don't like waste <laughs> She says, I won't tell anyone you're cheap. I said, it's fine, I'll tell, I'll tell everybody. Knows. Word gets everybody around, you knows, know. you know, I'm very, very typical Yorkshireman. <laughs> I like to make my money go the best it can. Yeah, so do. I'm just going to cut these. I'm using my Kaleido. It just gives me the perfect And when cut. are we due to see the Kaleido back the again? The 23rd. The 23rd, right. With some okay. new bits to that's, go with that's, it. That's um, a week on Sunday then. It is. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. going to be today. Um, but we would rather wait until we've got everything in stock. I'm excited to know what's coming with it. Oh, it's, yeah, some fab things to come with okay. it. Okay. And it's lucky I'm doing a two-hour show on it. I'm doing it in oh, my Lockers Crafts show. Oh, of course. So yeah. it gives me two hours to go through it because there's quite a few people who have struggled a little bit. Yeah. And only because they're overcomplicating it. Yes. But it gives yeah. me a chance to go through it slowly with everybody. I love but mine. I yeah, it'll be worth it. You've got one, haven't you? Well, I've been using it for cutting my fabrics <laughs> with, with my, my dies, and I just can't get over the fact that I've cut so much fabric without actually bowing the, um, the, the yeah. plates. I, I, yeah. I was saying to you earlier, um, Sam was testing it as a die-cutting machine for yeah. us. Um, against one of the leading A5 machines, mm -hmm. and he broke the A5 leading machine. Wow. And yeah. he didn't break that. Yeah. It's brilliant. I but broke more it when about I dropped that it on week the floor. On Sunday. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I have my three <laughs> stars. So again, I said I'm going to do this without adding any foam tape. Okay. So all I'm going to do is just a little bit of glue, but so I'm going to use a little bit of glue there onto my star, and they are equidistant and the same aspect ratio. They're actually a nightmare to draw stars. Well, yeah, it's one of those shapes that it's not easy. You can't uh, shrink you it. You can't shrink it because it's not everything's in proportion, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so, but it doesn't, each point is identical. Mm -hmm. So you mm. don't have to go, oh, what's the top? Yeah. Every single one is the same. And again, I've bought star dies in the past, and if I don't line them up and mark on them what's the top, they won't line up. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and that took a lot of time. It's all to do with the angles, isn't it? And it the is. Maths. It's strange. Because hearts are another one, aren't they? Hearts you, you, are the same. Yeah. You cannot just scale them down. Yeah. You have to hand... Because you think, oh, you just make it 10% smaller and 10% yeah. smaller. No, but no, it doesn't, it doesn't work. work. So there I've got my... But I think that just suddenly... Oh, that's pretty. You don't see the... You don't as much see the star. Mm -hmm. You could put anything there. As soon as that goes on, it works. But... I said um, I've cut them out of the middle of squares of card, haven't I? Mm -hmm. And I've done that for a reason. And that is because this will be the start of another card. Oh, OK, right. Because there's my large star. Yeah. I'll just take a piece of my stripe. There's my large star. Yeah. Sorry. There's my, there's my smallest one. Yeah. OK, yeah. OK. There's... Oh, OK, yeah. My next one. There's... My next Clever. one. By putting them in the centre, if I actually pick that up... It's like drawing your eye in, then. It yeah. is. If I put that on a piece of white, it'd look even better. So, there's that one. It doesn't matter, because that's going to be at the back. But then... 
clever. There's the start of your next card. That's nice, So yeah. I would actually, I haven't got it in the same colour, but if I cut the centre out of that, I can put that on top and then you're looking through in. Yeah, clever. So do it that way and keep those to one side because that will be the start of your next card on yeah. it. Yeah. So I said this is a great place to start. I think, I mean, this die, the star die, I think it's brilliant, because as you were working with it there, I was thinking to myself, well, could you kind of snip the leaves just where the, the, the border of the frame is and actually pull them forward? Yes. So they're kind of like three-dimensional um, and, and curve them and shape them and things like that. That shape the, there mm -hmm. is a perfect star still. Yes, yeah. So you could even snip those out to get oh, a that's larger a good point, star. Yeah. But that is still a perfect star. Yeah. It's not just, oh, that'll do. Yes. I, yeah. I never go with that'll do. Love it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the flower out. So I've, I've gone stripe, check, stripe. OK. So the flower's coming out of the check. Don't try and place it on. Right. Don't try and look through and go, where's going to look the nicest? Because yes. it won't work. And all I've done for this is to stuff, strengthen it a bit. I've spray glued it onto a little bit of card. Oh, OK, right, yeah. And it's just because I can do them straight from the paper and they will cut from it. I will show you that in one of the demos. Okay. But for this, I just want them that little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. And what I would do is cut at this point in the green the leaves as well, but I've already done that. So. OK, fair enough. Just because it's a bit boring to watch me cutting lots of things. But I think the, the flowers, because they're mini, it's important to see that they cut. And also because, I mean, they're, are they similar to the original cornflowers or exactly the same? I mean, will they work with the larger ones? They will work with the larger ones if you've got okay. them. They will take those a little bit further. Yeah. Um, but they will stand alone as well. But you can see how easily these come out. It's a lovely shape. I, I, the shape is so popular. Yeah. I mean, I've changed it slightly. It's not identical. Kind of got like a little, um, it's like a little kind of bubble on the end of each of the petals. Really it is. Sweet. Yeah, it, it's it's it just flows, makes that petal flow a little bit more. Yeah. So that's all of them straight out. Ten just in one cut. pass. Wow. Yeah, and it's so easy. And you can sort of do two at one, do yeah. two and mount them up, or simply, all I'm going to do is just. So I'm going to go down a size. Out of an A4 sheet, then how many times could you actually cut that die? Eight. Eight times, so that's 80 flowers 80 from flowers from one sheet. A4 sheet. Wow. Yeah. I told you I'm cheap and I believe in value. That's a lot of flowers. <laughs> well, people think, oh, you know, it's, no, it is. We, I really genuinely but think about these But also, as well, things. if you've got scraps of paper, quite often you'll, you'll have something that's a similar sort of size, or maybe even smaller, but I'm guessing even if it's a smaller piece, you can turn them into something that's usable. Yeah, you would throw a piece of card. A lot of people, a piece of card that size, they'd throw away. Oh, yeah. They'd yeah. throw it in a scrap box and never see it again. Yeah. If you've got that and it's one of the beautiful satin or gloss cards or mm. fancy card, sit at night and cut a load of these. You know, if yeah. you, you've got something on TV that you yeah. want to watch, but it doesn't take a lot of watching. Yes, yeah. Just sit there. You don't there. have to concentrate. Yes, yeah, exactly. Is sit that what there. I call an ironing programme? Yes. <laughs> if I did any, then that's what <laughs> yeah. I would do. I've not done any for a while. Yeah, no, not for a long, <laughs> long time. Um, but basically, so I'm just going to put it together and really, really simple. This is where I'm going to use my glue glaze. Right, tell me about glue glaze. Glue glaze is a completely flat glue okay. and it comes in a lip gloss container right okay With so a little sponge never on pretend it. it's anything else little sponge applicator but you see it's completely flat yes and it's almost like a solvent based glue in that it doesn't have any it doesn't dome at all like right. a PVA okay, does yeah. it's quick drying and it doesn't soak your paper it's like a dab 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 yeah so but the one of the best ways to use it to my mind is we're going to include gems with this set and they're going to be self-adhesive gems but I promise you by the time you've posted this to them and it doesn't matter who you've bought the self-adhesive gems off mm -hmm. and no matter what they tell you about how wonderful quality they are and how they stick really well within a couple of weeks you'll find two or three of them have moved or fallen they, off it, it's just they dry out don't they, they do so, the, yeah. the adhesive dries out so the glue glaze just means that that's it they're fixed there forever and it's so good for putting the leaves on. So I'm just picking up every other petal on the flower. There we go. Really simple. I've done three, of course, it being me, and everything should be in threes. So just pick everything up, yeah. Symmet sy sort of asymmetry is my thing. And I've got my leaves here. So I'm not going to shape these, but I will show you in another demo or the next show. But to glue these on, if we look how fine those lines are, I turn that over, can you see how fine yes, the, the, yeah. the twigs are? 
So I use the glue glaze again and I just literally either dot or paint the back. Pick it up. That's easy. Stick it down. That's now fixed. Fabulous. That is good, yeah. yeah? No matter yeah. what I do. Whereas we know with the PVA, mm -hmm. I've kind of got to wait for it to go off a little yeah. bit. So again, all I'm going to do is put two little sprays going over. John, do you then... want to pull that a little bit towards you? Just yes, so if sorry. You, we've lost the top up there. You go, perfect. Thank you. I've, I've got out of the habit of looking at the monitor. <laughs> That's okay. I naughty. I sorry. That's all right. So now the adhesives, just to very, very quickly show you those. I've got them here. Um, you're going to get your two big bottles, as you can see there. Um, one to use and one to lose, either around your house or to a friend. Um, and then you've got, obviously, your glue glaze there as well, so 9 99 If I can make a suggestion that you add the fine detail nozzle bottles in as well, because it is really useful to have those, and, of course, you can add them in, but you'll find them in the brand section. Or it might be as you check out your order, just keep an eye open for them. So um, 521794, if you're wanting to get hold of those, pop them into your basket there. Um, so affordable at 9 99 It will become your favourite glue as well. While I've got your attention, it's a bit naughty, but can I show you this? Because I've just come across these. We will go straight back to John. Because, of course, the waste, we were talking about the fall away when you actually cut the flowers out. Fabulous idea Isn't of that using brilliant. them. Sam, I said to him, what am I going to do with this sample from Barbara, the bag? He said, what do you mean? I said, well, I can't use it for this show, can I? It must have been for the show before. I said, he said, why? I said, well, that's not the flower. He went, she's cut it twice. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like I was an idiot. And I went, oh, she has. Yeah. She's cut she's that kind of twice. That, that. I was thinking it was the larger flower yeah. that we were talking no, about. that's what I oh, thought. Oh, so she's done it there. She's done it there. And then done, and it, then there. done it there. Ah, oh, clever. And I thought, how clever, Barbara. And I literally yeah. some thought I was talking to me like I was a complete idiot. <laughs> he said, <laughs> you take it, it's beautiful. It's like that, isn't it, usually? And then yeah. the flowers yeah. she's cut out are what she's used to decorate the front of the flower. Clever. Bag. Clever auntie, she's a clever lady. Very clever lady. Very, very clever lady, our Barbara. So, all I'm going to do now is literally just a little bit of glue glaze, but watch this. This is why I like glue glaze. That's stuck. That's stuck. Oh, my goodness. And you wow. saw, I'll do it again, because when I was gluing my original card, I was using PVA, like I would do normally. Right, OK. And it was... Um, they weren't sticking straight away. They had to, you know, they had Sometimes to almost... You kind be... of hold them, don't you, no, for a little while? No, that's it. Yeah. Let's just put it down, John. Get it in the right place. That's now stuck. That is good. I don't even need to test it. Yeah. Um, because I know how good the glue is. It's literally just that on the back, down on there, and I know now I can post that happily as a normal letter. Dab and you're done. Oh, there you go. Pause, sorry, dab and I'm done. Put it in the right dab place, make sure done. it is done. And that's it. Oh, oh. Jo oh. <laughs> oh here we John, go. you let me down. I have, and I know exactly why, because I'm using that one. It's because I put it in the wrong place. I put it on one of the stems so it wasn't actually oh, sticking so, yeah, anywhere. Yeah, so it was, it was kind of balancing. Yeah, it was balancing precariously. Yeah. Are you going? You're going to play with me, aren't you? And just make me look bad all the time. But there we go. We'll cut away quick, quick, quick. Take but camera that has, that's <laughs> the kit. So all I've added to that is some a, some craft card and a little bit of green card. You could miss out the green yeah. and do it all in craft and the papers. That is fabulous. And who was it that came This was Maxine Payne. Maxine. Maxine, you're a genius. Thank you. Thank you for that card. Um, and, of course, Maxine and the design team, I mean, you've done amazingly well with these beautiful dies to start with. But I know that's kind of part of it, isn't it? Having fabulous things to start with means you are going to create some amazing pieces. So do look at social media. You'll be able to see many of those items for ideas when you receive yours. Now, I hope you've placed your order for it already because it's incredibly busy. So so much so that 60% of the stock has gone. Now, let me explain what that means. We're looking at a limited edition. So what this means is exactly that. We only have a limited quantity of stock. It's not something that we're going to be saying to you, oh, we've got extended delivery of this one, or you might see it in a couple of months' time, as we often do when we have sellouts. But with this one, that is not it. There has been a, a limited run of this, which means once it's gone, it has gone. Now, the only place you can get hold of it is here at the craft store. It's an exclusive to us. Not as the bun, just the case of the bundle is everything that you're seeing here. So you might think, well, hang on a minute, I know the dies will be available somewhere. No, they're not. It's here. The dies have got limited edition printed on them. So please don't think, oh, yeah, I like all that. But I only want the dies. I'm going to go and buy the dies from somewhere else. You can't. 
Everything that you're looking at here is a limited edition bundle that you've got. With the limited edition dies, you won't get them anywhere else. That's something I want to reiterate because I know how, I, and I've done it myself, I've watched and thought, yeah, I like that, but I don't need that bit. I'll shop somewhere, I'll find it, I'll wait a little time. I don't want you to think, right, that's what's going to happen and you'll leave it and you won't order. We'll sell out, then you'll suddenly go, oh, right, yeah, I see what she means. I'll go and order it now. You can't. And we've seen that with previous uh, limited editions where people have come forward to try and place their order and they've even contacted John and Sam and found that sadly it's too late, it has gone. So if you like the look of these, you need to strike while the iron is hot. And it's a beautiful collection of three dies to start with. These are brilliant. If your Crafty Mojo has gone, absolutely amazing because you've got all three of those coming to you. They flow together beautifully. And it's maximising the area that you've got in this as well. So they're, they're kind of um, small but mighty really because you've got the die that obviously is creating your fabulous star but when you take that away you have got your nested dies inside underneath there as well now we'll just mention i have got a piece of cardstock on this i'm going to take that cardstock off i think because it's stopping them and grabbing on to the magnetic sheet so you've got your three nested stars as well i mean to get the dies by themselves at that price i think is an amazing deal but the fact that you're getting your, um, your fabulous uh, paper again designed by john manufactured in the uk to a pristine finish it really is a beautiful finish and you've got your coordinated gems two packs of those as well all coming together and of course if you have got the cornflower already then that die is kind of like a mini me version it will work alongside it but of course it's independent enough to work by itself if you're new to card making if you've only recently invested in a die cutting machine or perhaps if you haven't even got a die cutting machine yet i know it sounds a bit weird to say invest in this and you can't actually cut it out but this is the kind of thing that when you see them and you see the opportunity to get hold of them get it because you can get your die cutting machine at a later stage maybe join us with john um, with the Kaleido um, a week on sunday and then you've got a fabulous comprehensive set for a very affordable price and of course, by the time we come to Sunday, a week on Sunday, we might not be able to offer these to you because if they've sold out, they've gone, we've had to say goodbye to them. So 766-933. Just a couple of, I've shown you lots of the finished samples, but I want to make sure everybody gets their little moments because there's some beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love this and the simplicity. I mean, you've got your mats and layers, John, with this. But just building up the flowers with a little bit of ink. That's it, yeah. I mean, Barbara's cut the flowers. She's gone through the leaves. I'm going to show you quickly. I've got a really quick demo to show you. Okay, right, um, no problem. How we do that sort of with the leaves and how we can do Love it with a with thing. Wonderful. But that's all she's used. This one, Helen has mixed in the, um, the, the alphabets that last from time, previous yeah, that we yeah. saw last time, beautiful. along with these, just to match it together with it. This one, I think, is beautiful. This has been made Look by Julie. Um, and Julie is, is a star blesser. She, she does samples for us every sort of three months. Gorgeous. Um, but again, all that she's added to this is a square die. Beautiful. That's it. So it. everything else on this is made using the box kit. Very clever. And that's what I really wanted. And if you haven't got a square die, if you've got a pair of scissors or a guillotine, you don't need one. Yeah. You it's don't true, need anything yeah. else. So everything well, you need is in there. We've been chatting about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I would say, you know, if this is your first foray into die mm -hmm. cutting, this, yeah. some white card, yep. a the guillotine base, yeah. and some glue. That's all you need. That's it. Yeah. yeah and definitely. I know when I first moved from stamping into die cutting, the first lot I bought cost me nearly £100. Yes, yeah. I was talking to this on Craft Cave Live with a lady the other yeah. day and it, you know, it, it was crazy and all they were were shapes. Well, the thing is, if you wanted nested stars, you'd usually have to go for a much larger bundle. You'd probably be paying more than 24 99 for them, but you wouldn't get anything else in there. So kind of you've got little elements that you may well go on and extend in the future, but it's quite a, a kind of concise set with comprehensive kind of things that you can be able to do with it. And like I say, definitely that mojo bu um, buster. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah. it works for me because it happens to all yeah. of us. Yeah. So a really quick one I'm going to do, and this is something I, I love doing with these. Um, and I'm going to do it with the leaves as well. So first things first, I'm just going to put that down. I'm not even going to tape it down. Okay. Because I'm actually using my Kaleido and it's got a magnet. It's got it has, rather yeah. than a magnet, it's got magnets in its base. Right. So it isn't magnetic across the whole of it. Yeah. It, it's designed to just loosely hold things in place. And that can be a bit weird sometimes when you put something it on there. It pulls things moves. to the middle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's just to for things like this is perfect. Yeah. Because I don't want to tape this. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is, and it's going to seem weird, I'm going to tape. 
Okay. Turn my dies right. over the other way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I've got it open that way. I've got a spare magnetic board. Okay. So I'm going to pop it down and turn it back over. Right. That's now fixed in place. Yeah. Yeah. So all I then need to do is grab some ink. Now we've got the inks on the shows. Tell me about these because I missed out when you bought I these last these. time. I love these. These are the next range of our um, craft artist pigment okay, inks. Okay, right. So they blend beautifully. We've got there's three sets. There's a pearl. Mm -hmm. There's a one called Tea Time and one called Rainbow. Lovely. And what we've done is your rainbow has your primaries and your brights. Okay. Your Tea Time has your colours in between. Ah. Oh, so okay, it's like yeah. the Tea Time and the Rainbow are actually a sixteen set. So it's those two at the two. bottom there, yeah? So you can see that you've got a red, yeah. but then in the tea time you've got two pinks. Nice, A, yeah. a, a pink for either side. Yeah. So, Clever. But they're brilliant blending. So I'm going to go with this limey coloured green. Mm -hmm. Clicks out straight onto my brush because I don't, I'm not wanting subtle. All I'm going to do is scrub on top of my dye. OK. Yeah, nothing else. And it was designed, and I know it's go, oh, yeah, no, that's a hap it's like one of those lucky coincidences. Mm -hmm. Now, this is actually genuinely one of those where I did design it so that it did this. OK. Um, and the reason is, when we see, here we go. So just through like that, when I take that off, can you see there? <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, that's good. I like that. That is effective. That is yeah. very effective. So I don't know if you're seeing the green colour. It's a little bit muted in here. But that works. But, of course, that works for the leaves as well. Yes, Because yeah. a lot of people would say... You'd look at that and go, well, why is that, Diane? Why are the leaves um, separate? Mm -hmm. uh, why are they open? Yeah. They might as well be solid. Yeah. No, I actually drew them to be an outside line like this so that the same thing can happen with the leaves. So these just go through. My goodness, 70% of the stock has gone of the bundle. Jo have you got another show with us today, yes. John? Oh, oh. What there time is that? There isn't anything in reserve. What time is that? Uh, two o'clock. Two o'clock. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's all I can say. Yep. OK. <laughs> OK. That so, is the downside of a, a, a limited edition. It that, is. We can't, can't pull up any more. No, yeah. we can't. <laughs> we can't bring more back, no. But the same thing now with these. But okay. what I'm going to do is slightly a bit differently, OK? So I'm going to go with this lighter green mm -hmm. at the bottom. Yeah. And you're just scrubbing out. You need no skill for this. That's why the brushes are brilliant. So, just scrub over the bottom, yeah. Lovely. And then I'm going to go to this darker green, which is actually, bizarrely, more like a teal green. It's beautiful. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, that's nice, because they kind of blend straight through, yeah. yeah. So, you're doing your blending on your leaves, because Barbara, on some she spends hours colouring her leaves. Yeah. And she See, is an I've expert. tried doing that, and it starts off looking like a very healthy little collection of leaves, and then it ends up as a twig yeah. as I break them off, yep. because they've not got the support. Well, there's <laughs> no way... Oh, look at that. You, you wouldn't get the edge. Yeah. colour those, unless you're really careful, in your hand. That is effective. So, if you look at those... They that fade good, from the yeah. pale green to the dark green on the end. That is beautiful. But if I start trying to do those in my hand, but I love the sort of white on the outside. It looks really nice, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, like Don't that. ask me why, because normally I'm not a but sort of white rim around things person. It's because person. it's something a little bit different as well, I think. Yeah, it makes it. it really stand out. If I actually yeah. go for this now, so if I put this frame, yeah, mm -hmm. just quickly, I mean, don't waste those. Yeah. Because that's a beautiful background. Tissue. Use your double-sided adhesive sheets. If I go with that, if I pull in a frame, mm -hmm. suddenly... Oh, yes. But then I go for those... There you go, yeah. ...from the centre. Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. But how different is that... That looks beautiful. ...from that? Yeah. But we've used exactly the same dyes. We've just used the way that they were designed. I love it. 
John, thank you so much. Um, I'm sure you guys noticed at the bottom of the screen earlier on, um, we were busy on the phone lines again. Busy everywhere, to be honest, and I'm not surprised. With 70% of the stock having gone, um, sadly, we're, we're pretty much out of time um, for this particular hour. So what you need to do is make sure you are getting hold of yours um, as soon as you possibly can. Of course, John is due to be back with us at 2 o'clock. Yeah. Um, what will happen then, I don't know. Hopefully we will have enough stock to see us through to that. Whether we'll have enough to see it through for the whole of the hour is another thing to, to think about because, of course, at this stage, we, this is the first hour we've seen of these. 10% um, of the stock had gone before we even came live with it. Then, progressively, we've got busier and busier and busier as you've realised just how useful this set is to the point that 70% of the stock has gone. So, we've got the break between the shows, the beginning of the next hour with John at 2 o'clock. I can't see these being here at the end of that particular hour. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know. But what I do know is if you're placing your order for them now and then joining us at 2 o'clock, you can sit back and relax knowing that yours will be on their way to you and you can be able to create with these. And, John, it's such a brilliant idea, this bundle. and this. I mean, I love the excitement and kind of... It's almost a bit like an exclusive club. That It's not a club, but there's not everybody's going to have these. No, it, it is like that. I wanted it... I really wanted to do this. There's a lot of selfish reasons for doing this, and it is a little bit of a club. And I'm, I am sorry, you know. And we, you know, we ordered a lot of this. The limited editions were ordered during mm -hmm. the, in the heart of lockdown. Yes, yeah. So we didn't know quantities and yeah. things. So we've gone for this quantity, and it was a way for me to try out ideas yeah. and try to see if people like them. Yeah. But it was also a way to give a really good priced kit mm -hmm. to people. Yeah. Um, and it is a little bit of a thank you to those people who do follow me and support yeah, me yeah. so so much is to try and do something that is a little bit special and is yeah. a little bit limited as a thank you to them as well and again make sure it's not a silly price yeah and I have to say, you've hit the nail on the head. I mean, everybody's been loving these. And, uh, of course, as I said before, the finished samples, they're all on the, the John Next Door they're page. They're on the Crafting with John Next Door and Crafts 2 page. OK. There's over 120 different samples wow. been made by only four of us. Really? It's not gone to the full team. Not everybody's had it. But the thing is, that shows how quickly everything can come together yes. if you manage to bring those it together. It is, because I think there are just four people, including myself, working on this. And there are more samples around and some more still in the boxes. Well, there's one that I'm just, I've only just noticed it, actually. Can I grab hold of it here? That's very... This is clever. Look at that. And again, doing similar to what we saw. Yeah, but Barbara look, did. on the sides, it's the waste from the flowers. Yes. The front is the, is the box. And I love that because it almost looks like it's one die together there. Yeah, that and again, what I've done with the leaves there. is you've got a left and a right. Yes. So you can do that sort of, like, laurel wreath look yeah. where you're sort of framing something with it. That is beautiful. I'm glad I spied that one. So, yeah, if it's in your basket, yeah, you need to be checking your basket out. I mean, John, hopefully we'll see more of this at 2 o'clock. We will, yeah. I'm hopefully going to show you... Well, I'm going to show you the bag. OK. So this is my take on um, Julie's bag. Lovely. So this is, again, made just using the set and nothing else. And I've got a men's card to show you as well, which Ooh. I don't know where I've put that one. You'll have to tune in at 2 o'clock yes. to see that one. A little bit of a surprise. Don't forget, if you've got your guillotine as well in your basket, lots of you have been going for these ones as well. Very affordable at 19 99 And, of course, we'll see John working with this one in the next hour as well. But do check out all the fabulous um, tools that Crafts 2 bring to us. John, thank you. Inspirational as always. Thank you. Um, and I will see you a little bit later on um, with the one-day special. See you at 12.